when you're working with Jira service management uh, projects and you're using automation rules to add comments from one issue to another issue, maybe you want to add comment from problem to incident or change to problem, uh, you may also want to at the same time uh, control the visibility of the comments. Now when you're working with automation rules, you normally get one checkbox when you're adding a comment, like add a comment which is uh, public or private. Now when you're trying to sync comments, you may also want to control the vis visibility of uh, the comments. Uh, you don't really want to sync your private comments to public comments. Now what I normally do, whenever I am using such rules, I use if else condition to check whether the comment that was added on, let us say a bug or a problem or a change is private or uh, public. If it is private, then uh, I don't really check the checkbox. So let me show you the automation rule. So if you open any automation rule where you are adding a comment, and if you are dealing with, uh, let, us, let us say this one, comment on linked issues. So when you are uh, looking at, let us say, one of the comment on issue action, which is basically to add a comment, it will basically give you this uh, option for service projects share with customers. Now this is all good, and this will do what it, what it is supposed to do. But what, what if you want to selectively do it, like you, you don't really want to share all the comments with the customers. And uh, the answer is that you can actually add one if else block here. Let us say you go to the uh, component and then uh, you can uh, you can add a condition called if else. And here you can add a condition like uh, let us say advanced compare. And if you're talking about uh, a private comment, so there is a, there is a way to fetch it and figure it out using a smart value. And by the way, there was a question on the community about uh, something similar. Why does a public comment that gets copied by automation get an internal one? So uh, this is probably the, I mean, it has something to do with the, uh, with, with finding out whether the comment is internal or not. And you can actually do that with the help of one, uh, one uh, smart value called comment dot internal. Now, if you look at uh, this smart value, as as the name suggests, comment dot internal, uh, it will return either true or false. So if it is a, if it is an internal comment, then of course uh, you can then add a comment as usual. But uh, in that case, uh, like you can go to component and then you can, you can of course uh, add a comment here, like uh, whatever you want to add. It could be from a smart value or the, it, it, this comment could be from a trigger issue. But in this case. Uh, uh, because it is private, because uh, you know there is a condition on top that we are this this particular code block will run, or this particular action will 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 execute, or it will do something when uh, comment is internal. And in those cases, don't check this box. Otherwise, if it is, uh, I mean, of course we have will if then uh, you can also have else. For else, you can add. Uh, uh, I mean, you don't, you don't really have add, uh, need to add a condition, but for that else section. The moment you add a comment to issue, just make sure you also don't forget to select this option. So what will happen is if you're trying to sync issues from one issue to another issue based on, of course, a uh, link type, uh, you can then also check using uh, this if else and of course, comment dot internal smart value to check whether it is uh, indeed an internal comment because you don't really want to share each and everything with your customer. Um, and I thought I'll probably share this very quickly with you today. So that is all I wanted to talk about today in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.